form ahead of the Rothschild created anti defamation league. It's all an illusion. You just put on an Arab hat and they think you're Arabic. And this lady, she's got two bullshit bloody detectors she has, you could have four. This is this, is this lady, Rita Katz, who um, claims that she found one of the beheading videos on the internet. Well, how freaking lucky. This is an organization, site, I call it shite, I think it's accurate, site, search for international terrorist entities, that was putting out Bin Laden videos long after he bloody died in 2001. And she is an Israeli Mossad front person, and so is Sight. And it's all part of the propaganda. And this stuff is fake. I'm not saying for a second that these people weren't killed. I don't know that. I wouldn't dream of saying that because I don't know that. But for sure, these uh, beheading videos are a freaking fake. And when this was pointed out, uh, with the first one by the alternative media, suddenly video experts in the mainstream were coming out and saying the same because it was so freaking obvious. And the idea is to create maximum horror, it's therefore maximum effect, because the more we are horrified, the more we will support what they want to do in the Middle East to protect us from the enemy they have created. This is the mind game. I don't want another war, but we can't stand back and let Islamic State do what it's doing. That's just what it's all about. And then there's these people. They, oh, they've been radicalized. They've been vegetabilized from where I'm looking. They're going out, oh, Islamic State and all that stuff. They've been played like a violin by the very people they think they're opposing. Top US military uh, official admits, our uh, uh, Arab allies are funding ISIS. What happened to those allies? They became part of the terror coalition against ISIS. You couldn't make it up. Kerry meets the Saudis. I just wanted to discuss how we stopped the terrorists with both army. <laughs> 2011, Kerry, Assad is a very generous man. When it suits him, Assad is evil, I condemn him. And this is, this is how it works, it's very simple. We arm people when it suits us, uh, our agenda, we kill people when it suits our agenda, we say this when it suits our agenda, we say the opposite when it suits our agenda. That's the common thing. So he didn't get his Syrian war, fortunately for him, because people sussed it was a scam, but they're in Syria now because they've scammed the uh, ISIS story, and that's what it's all about. And um, here is the real reason they're in Syria, to remove him and get around the uh, resistance from the people. It's the totalitarian tiptoe. Here we go. No new war, they said. We've got a new war. We won't bomb in Syria. They're bombing in Syria. This is not about Assad. Let's have a no-fly zone to stop people who haven't got planes. It's about Assad who has got planes. No boots on the ground. They'll have boots on the ground. We're only keeping the peace. World War Three. That's the progression they want. And they want to pull Russia and China into it. It's all part of that um, Albert Pike scenario. So they're now demonizing Russia. If you look at my books from way back, it was talking about you watch them start to demonize Russia, which is what they're doing now as part of this. And they, they, they blame them on bringing that plane down. Hasn't that gone quiet since radar revealed that it was being escorted by two Ukrainian jets at the time it went down? And if anyone thinks that that's uh, you know, amazing, well, Footage of Ukrainian helicopters firing on its own checkpoint raises questions. They're bombing their own people and then blaming on Russian separatists. This is how the game works. And that is their uh, focus. That's what they want to take over. Then we have Ebola. It just happens to be in two freaking countries where there are US bio-warfare laboratories. Have you got enough room in America? And the uh, Centers for Disease Control in America have a patent on the human Ebola virus. <laughs> there you go, Sierra Leone closes down the US bioweapons lab. I bet they did. Pretty bloody sharpish. Another foreign news outlet links US biowarfare labs to Ebola outbreak. What a coincidence. ISIS, we must intervene in the Middle East. Ebola, we must intervene in Africa. Just a coincidence, nothing to worry about. 
And then you've got the public health emergency declared in Connecticut over Ebola, civil rights suspended indefinitely and all that shit that they can use. And this is what fear does to people. This is a passenger at Washington Airport waiting to get on a plane. <laughs> this is how the perception deception works. Fear. Make them fear and they'll give you their power. Our the state. If you look at this um, structure, that is designed to keep this status quo in place. So what we're seeing is more and more vicious, psychopathic police states around the world, in Britain and in America. They have a kill list in America. He can kill anyone he likes if it's on the kill list. He doesn't have to go through any judicial oversight. He can take anyone off the streets he likes and not have to take them through due process. So and so it goes on. There's almost a law against everything now because they want to tie us into a web like a spider ties a fly with regulations and laws. Uh, we've got this outbreak of 